Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at the Springfield Armory Ronin. The Ronin line is available in 9mm, 45 and now 10mm and that's what this is. So it is a new release. It's a beautiful looking gun. Hammer forged, slide and frame. Front serrations, fiber optic front sight, a tactical rear sight, that's what they call it because it has that ledge there, all metal two dot rear sight and laminate grips eight round mags 10 millimeter i have blazer 180 grain target loads skeletonized trigger and hammer a beautiful looking and firing handgun now i took it to the range yesterday i shot 100 rounds through it got to know the gun got the feel of it and i was very happy with the way it performed it's it's been great I'm gonna take a few shots here and we'll talk more about it MSRP 849, which is pretty good in this world of $1,000, 1911s. Let's take a few shots. And there it is. I measured the trigger weight right at five pounds which is fine you know some of those real real light triggers can uh, catch you off guard but it's a it's a nice handgun it's a good looking handgun and i'm really happy with the way it has performed let's try the ronin 10 millimeter one-handed i've got nine rounds here Here we have self-defense loads, Federal Fusion, 200 grain bonded soft points. Woo, makes those targets bounce around. Ronin, 10 millimeter. So there it is. Springfield Armory Ronin in 10 millimeter. Beautiful handgun. A couple things I did not mention is that it does use a GI style guide rod. All right, where, you know, it's, it goes about that long, partial length guide rod. But a nice handgun, it certainly shoots well, and the recoil with the 10 millimeter really isn't too bad at all. So I, I do enjoy it, and I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.